A massive drug bust in Delaware, and officials are calling it the biggest in state history. Jeff, what are you learning? Yeah, listen, law enforcement here in the state of Delaware says no community is immune from the scourge of guns and drugs. They offer Dover and Rosegate as evidence. Delaware's top federal prosecutor says this small Newcastle County community of Rosegate has long struggled with crime. He says the illegal drug trade is brisk here, but law enforcement hopes they've put a dent in it with the arrest of a pair of brothers. Both brothers used the homes and abandoned cars of elderly residents to store drugs and thereby reduce the risk of detection by law enforcement. Delaware's top federal prosecutor stood with agents from the FBI and Drug Enforcement Agency Thursday, along with local law enforcement, to say they've broken the back of two alleged drug rings moving narcotics and wreaking havoc in both Rosegate and Dover. The drugs sold and the toxic mixtures that are created are becoming more dangerous. The tactics employed by the defendants are more sophisticated. Investigators say these pictures show the large-scale illegal drug operation being run in Dover, in which undercover agents made multiple buys of fentanyl and methamphetamine over the last five days. They say the arrests of the Fountain brothers, Dwayne and Martin, and two other suspects led to a record-setting haul of 7.5 kilograms of fentanyl. Conservatively, that's 380,000 potentially lethal doses of fentanyl. In Rosegate, near Wilmington, the feds have indicted 12 suspects for alleged drug dealing that plagued the community. They say the defendants not only moved narcotics on the streets here, but recruited residents to help them. They say these pictures of drugs and a deadly weapon are what their investigation turned up and hope the people of Rosegate may now enjoy a little peace. Our goal is not just to put people in handcuffs for a few days, but to build cases that cut these violent criminal enterprises off at their very source. Heavy drugs, a toxic mixture of drugs, and always throw in guns. That's what the investigators saw in these two cases. Residents and law enforcement work together, apparently. They say in Rosegate, residents of the community stepped forward, helped with the investigation, asked for help. It looks like they got it in Newcastle County. Jeff Cole, Fox 29 News, folks. All right, Drew, th uh, Jeff, thank you.